The North East is a fantastic part of the country. We've got great people, great companies, great universities, five of the best universities in the country. We've got countryside, we've got natural assets, and of course we've got lots of water, which you'd expect me to say, but this is an amazing part of the country to live and work in, a brilliant place to be. But we know we've got challenges and we know we need to find ways of growing better jobs, more innovative jobs, higher skilled jobs in our region and we all need to pull together to do that. But I think Northumbrian Water is doing its bit. Um, we've always, I think, had innovation at the very core of what we do and we're very proud, for example, that we're leading our industry in the creation of power from wastewater or power from poo as we call it. Um, way ahead of the rest of the industry and showing people how to use these new technologies. And we've taken it one step further in working in partnership with Newcastle University where we're now experimenting in the possibility of creating hydrogen from that same wastewater treatment. This is really leading edge stuff and potential for fuel, sec for fuel cell technology um, in the future. Amazing projects around DNA sequencing of possible um, to find out what's within our wastewater as well. And in other areas where we're treating water, we've got the world's biggest reed bed to treat um, water sludge. So Northumbrian Water is pushing at all of the frontiers of how to do water and wastewater sustainably, more innovatively, and using leading edge academic thought from our leading edge academic universities in the region. That's just brilliant to be a part of. And I was also really privileged to be invited to take part in Lord Adonis's independent economic review of the region, um, which reported in, uh, in 2000, earlier in 2013. And in gathering all the evidence, because it was very much an evidence-based review, it was fantastic to see how passionate people were in the region to come forward and tell us about the things that they knew and the things that were going on in the region. And we could gather up how, what were our strengths, what did we need to do in order to outperform, in order to drive forward. We already know that one of the unique qualities of this region is it's the only part of the UK with a positive balance of trade and that's a real strength. We are real exporting champions in this part of the world. So how could we grow on that and use our passion and our skills? And the key things that came out of that is that if we can really get a very strong vision and a strong sense of institutional leadership across all aspects of the region and we can focus on the skills that we need and on the key sectors which are really automot automotive, advanced manufacturing, pharmaceuticals, digital media. These are all high quality areas that are going to create high wealth, high skilled jobs for the people in this region who want to come and work in this fantastic area. And then secondly, if we can create a real culture of innovation, we know that we've got this in our genes because people from the North East have been doing this since way back in Victorian times. If we can harness that, encourage that, and really get people bringing forward their brilliant ideas, then with the spirit of passion and optimism that we have in the North East, we can only succeed. We came away from that review with everybody getting behind it, a real sense of purpose to create more and better jobs and I know as a result of that, the whole region will just go from strength to strength. The North East has always been at the forefront of innovation, with some of the greatest inventions of the 19th and 20th century originating in this area of the country. Such inventions shaped the world we know today, from Joseph Swan's invention of the electric light bulb, George Stevenson pioneering the world's first public railway in Darlington, to Parsons patenting the first steam turbine on Tyneside. Innovation, invention and enterprise are as alive and important in the North East now as they were back then. Our credentials in innovation, ideas, cutting edge technologies and industries make the North East a place to invest and do business in. We have seen some phenomenal developments in engineering and advanced manufacturing, chemical, automotive, new and renewable energy and digital industries. Innovation is at the heart of our vision for economic growth and business. Local authorities, the North East Local Enterprise Partnership and the Tees Valley Local Enterprise Partnership are making great strides in taking forward ways to support innovation, develop more business startups, the commercialisation of new products and processes 
and in engaging with major global players. Britain needs to invent and export around the world. The North East, the only area of the country with a positive balance of trade, has a wealth of ideas, innovative industries, positive and progressive people to make an enormous contribution to the national economy. Right now, there are signs that the UK economy is beginning to turn the corner. And I'm proud to say that businesses in the North East are doing more than their fair share to help the UK economy back onto its feet. International trade is crucial if we're going to really grow the whole of the UK economy. And the North East is the only part of this country which consistently has a positive balance of trade, which consistently earns real wealth for this country. And not only have we grown our exports massively over recent years, but we've done so in countries outside the EU and indeed opened new markets in new parts of the world, which augurs really well for the future. In manufacturing, we've seen real growth across all the sectors, precision engineering, car manufacturing, in which we now make one out of every three cars produced in this country, in pharmaceuticals, in offshore, and indeed in all of the key industries that we need to help get this country moving. In energy, we are one of the few regions that is a net energy exporter, and we're exploring new energy sources, not only dealing with offshore wind and other more sustainable resources, but also exciting new areas like coal gasification underneath the North Sea. Things that will really transform the UK industry, both in energy and indeed in raw materials for some of our more important chemical sector in the years to come. In digital and in a variety of other key sectors that are so crucial in the knowledge economy as we go ahead. We are a region with huge resources, with huge potential, with space to do things in and with people that have a desire to make things happen. Indeed, the North East is a part of the country that we believe is not a problem for the rest of the country to solve. It's an asset that should be maximised on behalf of UK PLC. But we need the government to help. We need investment in infrastructure, in transport, in digital, in energy, in waste and in water. The key things that really help this economy keep moving. We need investment in skills. And despite some quite significant unemployment issues, we do have some skills gaps that we really need to work at to fulfil, and some of which are holding our businesses back. We need taxation and other support that will really help businesses see opportunities and grow. And we need a real energy policy, particularly for the sort of businesses that we've got in this part of the world, that will enable us to seize the advantages of tomorrow. In essence, the North East is a huge opportunity for this country that is not fully tapped at present. And we need government to help unleash the great potential that lies within the North East.